Okay, so now I am um, going to show you how to uh, get the live CD working, um, for the ISO image working if you're on Linux or if you're on Windows. Um, both ways are the same. Um, so I'm just going to, you want to basically restart your computer and I'm going to say this now before I hit restart. Every computer is different, but basically what you're trying to do is when it loads and you're given the, like for example, my computer is Acer, so Acer screen pops up and I'm given the option hit F12 to go into boot menu. Now, what you want to do is you want to get into that boot menu. Once you're in your boot menu and you have the disk inserted, what you want to do is you want to tell your computer to boot from the CD drive. Once that is done, it'll load up the CD. That's the sometimes the hardest part. So I'm going to do that right now, and I'm just going to show you how that's done. Here we go, restarting. And again, for me, I got to hit F12. For you, it may be completely different. F12 boot menu. There we go. So now I'm in the boot menu and I want to select a boot first device, hard disk, CD ROM. So for me, if I wanted to get this to boot, I'd hit CD ROM and then choose my DVD uh, drive. I do that and the, with the disk inside, It'll start the disk and let's continue. Before you know, you will be greeted with the main screen of Linux Ubuntu. It's going to do a little code, and there you go. Now we have Linux Ubuntu. Um, so select your language. I'm going to pick English. Um, now, the important thing here is you can navigate with keys. Um, I'm going to suggest to you that you try it first to make sure you like it. And if you like it, then you can go into it, install Ubuntu. But, and if you don't like it right now, you could power down, or you could choose this last option, which is which says boot from first hard disk. Um, I'm going to uh, click install Ubuntu, and it's going to bring you through many more processes. Um, I'm going to say right now, I am not responsible for any damage you do to your computer if you mess something up, which you shouldn't because uh, Ubuntu the setup makes it really easy. So I'm just going to click install Ubuntu so I can right. So I'm going to click install Ubuntu so I could show you what it looks like and the basic process. Okay, it's going to display a little bit more code as it boots into that appropriate Here we go. You're going to see that for a little while. It'll take a little while to get into the boot um boot part. So I'm going to pause the video and pick up again when we get to that part. Okay, so now we are just just got past that black screen and we are now getting straight into it. Sort of. Again, this process can be a little time consuming. So, all right, here we go. We are now greeted with our window. Okay, so first want to pick your language. I will choose English. Okay. And then you want to click. You want to click forward at the bottom. Running out of battery, so I'm going to flow through this now. Okay. And the next part is where it can get really tricky. This will find it for you if you're connected to the internet. Otherwise, you're going to pick your location, pick your keyboard layout on the next screen, but keep hitting forward. Okay. And um. It's going to load the partitioner so you can make partitions on your hard drive. Now this is where it gets a little crazy. The top lists um, where Mac OS X is installed, how much free space you have, the hard drive, yada yada. Um, down here is where do you want to put Ubuntu. This is very critical. If you pick this option, the first one here is erase and use entire disk. That means it's going to wipe out Mac. 
I recommend don't doing that unless you for some reason hate a Mac and in that case you should have got a Windows. So I recommend you do not do that. Um, you could use the next one which is use free space which in my case and a lot of other people's case there is not many. The only other thing that I like to do is specify portions manually. Because what you can do with this is you can specify all right, I want this much for Mac and I want this much for Linux. Okay, so if you hit forward and you continue, you can choose how much you want for Windows, how much you want for Mac, and you can choose if it's dynamically expanding, which means the more stuff you put into it, it just grows by itself, or you can cap it off at some point. Okay, so I'm not going to press forward because if I do, then it's going to screw everything up for me because I don't want Linux on my Mac. I have it on my Windows. Um, okay, so I just press quit and now it's going to exit out and um, back all the way out. So that was the tutorial for Mac. If you really need more detail as to that, I'll go into detail a little bit more at a later point. What we're going to do is we're going to go and find that ISO file we just downloaded. So I'm going to zoom in on it right here. That's our Ubuntu one. Alright, now what you want to do once you find it is you want to right click it. And you want to choose open with. And you want to find disk utility. And disk utility is going to open up. You should have a blank CD in your drive. You want the blank CD in there now before you do this. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in. Alright, if, if nothing's partitioned already, you should have a similar layout to this. Um, this is your Macintosh HD, as you can see, your DVD drive, and then here's our ISO that we just opened. So what you want to do is you want to come over to the ISO, select it. And you will come up to the top and you want to click burn. Okay, and then it's going to ask for a blank disk, which I don't have. Alright, now what you want to do is when this works for you, because I already burned it, um, you're going to want maximum possible. And after burning, I choose to take that off because it just takes longer and it doesn't really do anything for me personally. So um, I leave it as maximum possible and then eject disk. And then you click burn, you step away, you come back later, it should be done. Now, say you've burned it now. This is what you should have. A blank CD minus R into your drive that you just burned and it's gonna make a noise it's gonna try to open it it may open it it may open an op application of some sort just quit it all oh there we go now you want to come down to restart now the key thing here is when you click restart your computer is gonna restart you want to make sure you're holding alt okay you want to make sure you are holding alt when it starts to boot up again because that'll make it bring up the option, alt option, whatever, because that'll make it bring up the option to boot from the CD instead of your hard drive. So it's shut and release. So we see we have Macintosh HD and we have um, a CD. It's labeled as Windows. I don't know why it is, but it is. So don't pick Macintosh HD. Pick the Windows CD. Okay, you could choose it by pressing enter using the arrow keys to navigate. And before you know it, you will be greeted with the main screen of Linux Ubuntu. It's going to do a little code, and there you go. Now we have Linux Ubuntu. Um, so select your language. I'm going to pick English. Um, now the important thing here is you can navigate with keys. Um, I'm going to suggest to you that you try it first to make sure you like it. And if you like it, then you can go into it, install Ubuntu. But... And if you don't like it right now, you could power down, or you could choose this last option, which is which says boot from first hard disk. Um, I'm going to uh, click install Ubuntu, and it's going to bring you through many more processes. Um, I'm going to say right now, I am not responsible for any damage you do to your computer if you mess something up, which you shouldn't, because uh, Ubuntu, the setup makes it really easy. So click install Ubuntu so I could show you what it looks like and the basic process. Okay, it's going to display a little bit more code as it boots. Okay, so now we are just just got past that black screen 
And we are now getting straight into it, sort of. Again, this process can be a little time consuming, so. All right, here we go. We are now greeted with our window. Okay, so first I want to pick your language. I will choose English. Okay, and then you want to click, you want to click forward at the bottom. Running out of battery, so I'm going to flow through this now. Okay, and the next part is where it can get really tricky. This will find it for you if you're connected to the internet. Otherwise, you're going to pick your location, pick your keyboard layout on the next screen, but keep hitting forward. Okay, and um, it's going to load the partitioner so you can make partitions on your hard drive. Now this is where it gets a little crazy. The top lists um, where Mac OS X is installed, how much free space you have, the hard drive, yada yada. Um, down here is where do you want to put Ubuntu. This is very critical. If you pick this option, the first one here is erase and use entire disk. That means it's going to wipe out Mac. I recommend don't doing that unless you for some reason hate a Mac then in that case you should have got a Windows. So I recommend you do not do that. Um, you could use the next one which is use free space which in my case and a lot of other people's case there is not many. The only other thing that I like to do is specify portions manually. Because what you can do with this is you can specify All right, I want this much for Mac and I want this much for Linux. Okay so if you hit forward and you continue, you can choose how much you want for Windows, how much you want for Mac, and you can choose if it's dynamically expanding, which means the more stuff you put into it, it just grows by itself, or you can cap it off at some point. Okay, so I'm not gonna press forward because if I do, then it's gonna screw everything up for me because I don't want Linux on my Mac. I have it on my Windows. Um, okay, so I just press quit, and now it's gonna exit out and um, back all the way out. So that was the tutorial for Mac. If you really need more detail as to that, I'll go into detail a little bit more at a later point.